When people ask me what to tell their kids about climate change, I say, don't pull the wool over their eyes, but don't tell them our world is doomed, because it's not. Instead, tell them some stories about our planet and our species. Tell them how remarkable it is that on this planet, some chemical reactions evolved to the point where now we can look out at the universe, back at our own planetary history, and forward to our future. Tell them how we have inadvertently begun changing our planet in dangerous ways and need to learn to play a more constructive role. As an astrobiologist, I study how planets evolve. I wrote Earth in Human Hands to explore the transformation we human beings are now causing on Earth and how that fits into the larger story of our planet. Seen from space, Earth is the most stirring sight. Why? Our ancestors never saw Earth from space, yet we all feel it. So this wide recognition of the whole Earth as lovely and precious also demonstrates our capacity to evolve and grow. But right now, our planet is changing, and our best science can't say what's going to happen. The system is so complex and hard to predict, especially because we ourselves are increasingly part of it. Our decisions and our indecisions are now a part of planetary evolution. We're not the first species to come along and radically change the planet, but we are the first to know we are doing so. We can see it coming. We can change course. That gives us disturbing responsibility, but also opportunity. If you look at our deep history, you see that we have faced existential threats before. This history also suggests that we have the capacity to become a very different kind of influence on the planet. We can develop a more positive and sustainable relationship with our biosphere. It's not enough to think about what kind of future we want to avoid. We need a vision for the kind of future we want to create. That's why I wrote Earth in Human Hands. Can we have a vision of where we want our world to be in 10,000 years? We have to see ourselves as acting in collaboration with our future selves and future generations. We have to hold up our end. To do so, we have to gain much deeper knowledge of both our planet and ourselves. We no longer have the option not to be planet changers, so we have to figure out how to do it right. In Earth in Human Hands, I describe what I think it means to be a constructive planetary force rather than a destructive one. If we step back and look at ourselves from a cosmic vantage point, then our task here becomes clearer. And personally, I think we're just getting started on this planet.